Hi guys, this is Penny from SagePay. I'd like to tell you a bit more about SagePay, our integration to Sage50C, our supplier payment solution and our customer payment solutions, how we integrate to Sage50C and how it can benefit you. Before we start, let me tell you a bit more about SagePay, who we are and what we do. So SagePay, first of all, is owned by the Sage Group, which is a global company. It also means that when you're dealing with someone from SagePay, that you are effectively dealing with, with the Sage Group as well. Um, just in terms of, of compliance, we are regulated by PASA, which is the Payments Association of South Africa. It's the same institution that regulates all the banks in South Africa as well and all third-party payment providers. We also register with BSSF. We are PCI compliant, which means that you can trust us with credit card security. We registered with the Financial Services Board and obviously registered with SARS as well. Being regulated by PASA means that our security has to be on par with security you would find with your bank um, and online banking. So our security is quite high. Our, we also have um, all our data backed up on three servers across the country. SagePay is integrated to most of the Sage products that you'll find on the market today. But for now, we're just going to have a chat about um, Pastel Partner or Sage 50C. All right. So before I show you how it works, let me just quickly go through why you should use SagePay. First of all, you can get paid faster. Instead of offering your clients just normal EFT or maybe cash payments, you can now offer them instant EFT, credit card, cash payments, and app-based payments as well. You can also make payments a lot quicker. When paying suppliers, everyone pays their suppliers via EFT banking. SagePay can do batch payments a lot faster and a lot cheaper. All right. You can also manage your risk. Our risk report service allows you to do all types of or request all types of risk reports from bank account verifications on individuals or companies to credit checks to company reports. Reconciliation, our SageBase statement, which is a fully itemized statement, is already integrated to your Sage 50C, which would, should allow you to reconcile and allocate your transactions a lot quicker and faster. All right, so how does it work? When you've decided that you want to use SagePay for either customer or supplier payments, the first thing that you'll have to do is you need to link your SagePay account to your Sage 50C. And we've done it very, very easily. First of all, you go to Utility, click on Sage Connected Services. Click on the SagePay tab and enter your service keys. The first time that you'll do this, these boxes will be empty and you'll need to get your SagePay service keys from your SagePay account. To get your service keys will be very easy. You would go to your SagePay account, log into your account, go to account profile, click on Sage Connect, click on account service and copy and paste your service key into, into your Sage 50C. So I'll just go and do the same with all the various services. Once you've copy and pasted all your service keys, you would click on OK. Keep in mind that with SagePay, you, you can choose the services that you want to use. You don't have to use all of them. They can also be used as standalone services. Once you've entered your service keys, you can carry on processing either your supply payments or your customer invoices as per normal. I'd quickly like to show you, first of all, on a customer invoice, what we actually offer to your customers or what you would offer to your customers. So first thing that you're going to do is process a customer invoice. It's going to be very straightforward. Very straightforward invoice. And just put in a reference number. 
go and select your product or service, price, batch, update. You would then email the invoice to your client. Okay, while we're waiting for the email to arrive, I've previously already emailed an invoice to myself. Essentially, this is the email that your client will get with the invoice as a PDF attached. You will open the PDF and he'll view a standard Sage 50C invoice. When you've entered your PayNow or your SageBase service keys, this will be specific to our PayNow service. And what we're gonna do is offer payment options on your PDF invoice that you send to your clients. And there's a whole range of payment options. Starting off with our EFT payment, keep in mind this is a normal EFT payment, but instead of the client paying from his bank to your bank account EFT, he would pay to your SagePay account. The reason why this works better is with SagePay, you will basically have access to four clearing accounts. So your client can pay from APSA to APSA instead of paying from APSA to, for instance, Standard Bank. There's also a reference number there. It means that when we get the payment, it can be automatically allocated to your client. At a later stage, when we do reconciliation via Bank Manager, it also means you can allocate it to your invoice. We also have what what we call cash payment, which is where, we, where you offer your client a barcode that he then can take to anyone in Checkers Group. This includes OK, You Safe, House and Home, ShopRite and Checkers, or the post office, where they can present the barcode to a cashier or a money market and make payment. The nice thing about the barcode is your client can pay via any method that that cashier or money market will accept, either be it card, a savings card, cash, check, even a gift voucher. Um, there's also the SagePay. If you want to pay online, you click on the SagePay logo before I get there. If your client decides he wants to complete the traction on his mobile device or cell phone, you would scan the QR code, and the QR code will take him to your online payment gateway, which is exactly what this logo does. So if your client decides he wants to pay online, you would click on the SagePay logo, and you go to our online payment gateway, where again, we offer a range of payment options, including credit card, instant EFT, again, you'll find a normal bank EFT, the barcode cash option, the master pass app, and the visa checkout. And what does essentially mean is, or the benefit of this is that you can get payments from your clients quicker, hopefully quicker than normal, Instead of relying on EFT or cash, your client can now pay with his credit card or your client can pay via MasterPass or instant EFT. There's a whole range of ways where your client can now make payments. The benefit of this also is you'll have all these types of transactions on one statement. Normally you would have for credit card transactions, you would need a merchant facility at the bank, which is a lot of red tape to get an account open. You'd also have your bank account for EFTs. Already you have two statements that you need to contend with. With SagePay, we're giving you all your payments, incoming and outgoing payments on one statement, integrated to your, to your accounting software. Um, and just to give you an idea of how it would work, I'll quickly do a, a test transaction. The client would click on credit card. For those of you that have done credit card transactions before, you will know the process. Enter his card number, enter an expiry date, his name and surname, and the CVC number. We will then process that credit card transaction. We can then indicate immediately that the transaction was successful. The nice thing about credit card and instant EFT payments is that it is an instant notification to you as a company or merchant that the transaction was indeed successful and the money is on its way. 
funds normally take about 24 hours to reflect and it will reflect in your sage pay account on your statement as well at which point you can just release the money to your bank account or you can even use that money to pay supplies or, or salaries just to give you an idea of how instant this is this was a 23 rand transaction on sage pay you would go to your services go to pay now click on reports click on your transaction report and you'll see the transaction there for 23 rand that was a immediate transaction done today and guys that really is it's that simple to process your invoice with a sage pay footer and offer it to your client and receive the payment all right next up we're gonna quickly do supplier payments once you've loaded your supplier payments or your supplier invoices on your Sage 50C and you are ready to pay your suppliers, remember now that we've already linked your Sage Pay account to your accounting. All you're going to do now is process the supplier payments batch. To do that, you'll go to Process, go to Cashbook, Sage Pay Payments Assistant, go and select your range of suppliers. Choose an action date where you want to get them paid. Let's make it this Friday. It's going to bring up a list of all your supply invoices that is outstanding. At this point, you can decide that you only want to pay certain guys. Let's make it a round 100 amount. There. Okay. You'd say next. Say next and process. I'm not sure if anyone was counting, but I was about three or four clicks. You would then go back to your Sage Pay account, go to services, payments, go to creditors, click on creditor batches, and you'll see your batch would be here. What Sage Pay also do is instead of having multiple transactions for the same supplier, we bunch them together into a single payment. So you'll see it will only say one transaction, but it would be in fact for both invoices that you're paying. At this point, you need to only authorize the badge. I'd like you guys to make sure that indeed that, that the details, the transaction amount is correct in this badge. Once you're happy, you can go and authorize it. Now, when it comes to the authorization, SagePay only allows users with the correct permissions to authorize or view a batch. And that gets set up by yourself as a company when you register with SagePay. So once you've registered, you'll go and set up various users or one user with the correct permissions for whatever function they need to perform. For instance, if someone did not have permissions to suppliers, they would not be able to authorize the batch, or you can even set it that they can't even see or view the batch. However, should someone have the correct permissions, they would see the authorized button here. They would click on the authorized button. At that point, we're gonna, we're gonna bring up a summary of the payments batch. You guys can decide to send an email or notification to the supplier. Once you're happy, you go and click on authorize and the system will require a one-time pin. We'll then send a one-time pin to the cell phone number of the user that's logged in enters the one-time pin, clicks on authorize, and that would be your salary batch submitted. SagePay will then go and release the payments to the various suppliers' bank accounts. We'll reflect it by the following day on your SagePay statement. At that point, you can, you can import your SagePay statement into your Sage50C via Bank Manager and reconcile your transactions. Uh, for those of you using Bank Manager for your for your statements, um, SagePay is already integrated to Bank Manager as well. Just to just give you an idea what it will look like or what a SagePay statement will look like. You go to process cash books. Click on Pastel Bank Manager. Um, you've got two options here. Because you've entered your account service key, which is basically your statement service key. You can have SagePay feeds, where SagePay will feed your statement directly into your Pastel 
in, into your Sage 50C, or you can do a manual import where you just import a downloaded, the downloaded Sage Bay statement. So for this, we'll do the import. We'll then get a file that I've already downloaded. And there will be your transactions. As you'll see, some of the transactions already been allocated um, to a customer payment. Um, obviously, for some of the transactions, you'll have to do some, you'll have to map these transactions and create some rules. And basically, that is it. So, that is your supplier payments your client invoices and your statement integration into one. Guys, I hope you liked it. If you have any questions, please contact the guys at About IT. They will provide you with more information, pricing. If you're interested in the SagePay account, they're the guys to speak to. Um, and I hope you have a, have a great day. Thank you very much. Goodbye.